Known for empowering the world to get fit on their own terms, 10 years ago he had already gained sought-after recognition from some of the top experts in the industry. Let me introduce you to Ben Kamara. Hi Ben, welcome to the show. How are you today? In a gym setting, but you can also do remote training, so remote coaching, which is then obviously being able to help clients um, and trainers being able to use the tool Remote Coach, which is what we, mm -hmm. we offer, to be able to help their clients anywhere at any time. And that's kind of, I guess, the wow. backstory. The Centre for the Disease Control and Prevention. Centres yeah. for Disease Control and Prevention. And they claim, or they said, no claims, sorry, listeners, the exercise boom is not just a fad. It is a return to natural activity which facilitates the proper function of our biochemistry and physiology. Back in the day, I mean, thousands of years ago, I mean, BBC talked about this in their work-life articles during the pandemic, that yeah. we, you know, the Greeks were training for the Olympics thousands yeah. of years ago. You've got yes. yoga and Tai Chi. So exercise isn't new. And there were Those are the employees that are working remotely now and maybe only going to the office once a week, it doesn't really work. So offering um, a digital solution whereby that remote um, employee can do that session still the same way that they would have maybe gone to a gym and, and do it at home or you have a, a, an office um, space within the, you know, the company where that people can go. And... But I guess with the pandemic, um it must have turned your world upside down because you did have two high profile gyms in London, didn't you? And the next yes. one awards, which is... you know, there was very much this, oh no, digital fitness doesn't really exist. And obviously then COVID hits and it, it completely changes everything. Uh, and, it, and you know, yeah, for sure, it was very, very difficult because, you know, we'd owned the gyms for just over 12 years and suddenly, you know, this, this pandemic hits and mm -hmm. they are, <clears throat> well, were unsavable. They bought a, a fitness product, um, not talking about a Swiss ball or whatever, an actual home workout software yeah. during the pandemic. And I'm wondering how many people you reckon, um, this is a bit of a play with words, would actually continue now the pandemic's over? Or do you think people are beginning to just become more aware that they can do more from home? Yeah, I think um, this is a, it's a really good question because the stats on now post pandemic, I mean, you could call it post pandemic um, or yeah, whether we're still in it, in but they're, they're not that clear. You know, the fitness industry, unfortunately, especially here in the UK, is very fragmented um, on being able to get real source data. But I think progress is something that um, we always used to coin in studios was, you know, don't, don't be chasing this perfection, Ch you know, chase progress though, be proud mm -hmm. of your progress. Oh,